everybody six string supplies today we're doing a, a very short tutorial on how to wire a humbucker into a push pull pot to enable a series or parallel wiring um, so just to give a quick overview on what that means so the vast majority of humbuckers are, are wired in series which means that the the current when you're playing uh, goes through one coil and then it runs through the second one and then before going out to the output jack uh, in parallel, what it actually means is that both coils, uh, the current's going through, the, the coils are connected at both ends at the same time. So the current is actually going through both coils uh, simultaneously. Uh, so what that does in terms of what it means for us as players and to our ears, um, it makes, when you enable parallel wiring on a humbucker, it puts, it basically makes it sound brighter. Um, however, it does have considerably less output, so it can come across as quite a weak, a weak sound. A lot of people do, uh, myself included, actually for a long time, get this uh, slightly muddled with coil splitting. Coil splitting is different because one coil gets grounded and only one of them will remain uh, online, so to speak. Um, so that will, you know, one coil is playing. That's how you get the the single coil tone via coil splitting um with series parallel in parallel yes you do get a a, a much brighter tone um but both coils are working um so single coil pickups in a strat or a telecaster for example are wired in parallel but humbuckers are, are generally wired in series um so that's the reason why some people can get a bit confused between the two um uh, what i've done here is i've just got a very very basic rig uh, i've got a push pull pot which i've already wired out to uh, a jack socket using some braided wire um as always in these recent videos anyway i'll be having a, a series of wiring diagrams at the bottom of your screen just to show you exactly what what connection has been made where the the pickup is uh, a seymour duncan I don't actually know what the model is, um, APH one B. It's a bridge pickup. Um, that was that was that's all I've got lying around in the parts drawer. And obviously we're using a, a CTS push pull pot. So what I'll try and do, um, the wiring diagrams will cover uh, a classic push pull pot. Um, but the easiest way to read them is so these six pins. If I can just keep this still to keep the camera in focus, these six pins here are representative of a typical classic, shall I say, push pull pot. Uh, but we do not solder the connections to these pins. You can, but it's very, very difficult to do. And because they're so close together, you're risking uh, connecting two pins together. Um, but these pins are numbered or lettered and they are on a printed circuit board. I'll try and get back into focus. There we go. And they run to these holes here. So if you had to connect a a wire to pin three here on your classical push pull pot, that's the most bottom left one. If you're looking at it front on, instead of soldering it to the pin, you solder it to the hole here. So they're connected to each other via uh, a printed uh, circuit board. So we are only going to be soldering into these six holes. Um, I'll just give you a quick overview of the equipment. Uh, it's the same as always. So we've got a Hakko soldering station, uh, some brass shavings there, just instead of a damp sponge. I strongly recommend you, you, you if you are using a damp sponge, that you move over to the brass shavings. Um, it cleans the tip absolutely be beautifully uh, without lowering the temperature. Um, Lead-free solder. Now, there was a comment, actually, I got on one of the uh, recent videos a couple of days ago asking about the solder wire and the diameter specifically so it's 0.7 mil it's very thin um but it is perfect when you're working on uh these pots especially with the very small holes uh it's lead free but it has got three three point nine percent silver 
uh, which makes it nice and easy to work with. Um, for those on the other side of the pond, 0.7 mil diameter is what we use in England, uh, but standard wire gauge is 22, uh, so I'll be using that. Um, that's it, I've got my, my favourite blue soldering tool there, it's just a, a blunt edge, flat edge to help me keep the wires down. So that's that, it's a nice simple simple rig here. So all I'm gonna do is connect the pickup to the pot basically and just walk you through one or two connections onto, onto how that's done. It is Seymour Duncan. So the diagrams that you'll see on the screen are color coded for Seymour Duncan, but I will explain it in terms of North Start, North Finish, South Finish, South Start, etc. So if you're not, if you are doing this at home on your own project and you're not using Seymour Duncan, you should easily be able to to change the 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 color codes over okay so that's that um what i'm gonna do is I can turn on the soldering iron and we've got a couple of connections to make on the push pull pot and then we'll take it from there okay so i'll just show you what i've already done before recording uh just to make it nice and simple for the actual video itself um you'll see on the diagram on your screen uh, so all i've done really is the grounding so i've got a jack socket here with a uh, braided braided wire which is grounded the outer braid is grounded to the side of the pot casing uh, this is the volume control so this solder lug here needs to be grounded but in the setup that we're doing this bottom terminal here number one so it's the most bottom right if you're looking at a classic if you're using a typical classic push pull pot gets grounded as well so all i've done uh is i've got a, a a continuous wire that connects uh, terminal one, which is that hole. It goes through the uh, the lug of the volume pot, and that gets grounded onto the side as well. So that's all we've done so far. The only other thing we need to do before we start hooking up our pickups is just make a connection to connect uh, the two terminals at the top here. So in this case, it's number four to number two. We're obviously just going to be putting it onto the holes. So that's this hole here, number four, gets connected to number two. And all I'm going to do is just use a bit of tinned copper wire. I'm just going to solder that in place. like so and we're going to bend that over into lug two or hole two i should be saying so we're just going to bend that round Like so, same procedure, just solder it into place. Let it cool naturally. And then I'm just gonna bend it out the way because we need to connect our pickup wires to the remaining holes. Okay, next we'll just move on to the pickup itself. Okay, so like I say, this is a Seymour Duncan pickup. Um, obviously for this kind of mod or coil splitting, you do need pickups that have four conductor wires. So typically you'll have your, your white, your red, your black, your green, and your bare, uh, the bare, Regardless of the pickup manufacturer, the bare wire is always the ground. At least, thankfully, that's one thing that they all have in common. Otherwise, it can be a bit of a nightmare identifying which wire is what. 
So for Seema Duncan, the North Start is the black wire. The North Finish is the white wire. The South Finish is the red. And the South Start is the green. Now, typically, like most setups, the, the South Start and the ground are going to be twisted together and we'll solder both of those to ground. So we'll put that onto the side of the pot casing here. Um, so typically then your input, we're going to solder that to the input lug of the pot here. So your North Start, in this case, the black is going to the input, just like you, you would in a typical setup anyway. However, we do need to connect the input of the push-pull pot to this hole here, number three. So the bottom left pin, basically, on a typical push-pull pot. So we're just going to have a quick jumper wire connecting hole three to the input of the, the volume pot. And we'll hook up our pickup as usual to this one. So I'm just going to pop that in. like so I'm just gonna snip that and your north starts this is the the hot signal wire of the pickup so in our case it's it's black if we're using Gibson it'll be red I'm just gonna hook that up through the wire through the lug excuse me twist it round And we'll just solder that in place. Perfect. So the next wire in the sequence is the North Finish. Now in our case, that's the white wire. And that is going to what would be terminal C1. That's the on the right hand side, the middle one. But in our case, on a CTS push pull, that's going into this hole at the very far end. So we're just going to hook that in through there. like so next we've got the south finish this is the next coil which in our case is the red wire and that is going to hold C2 so on the left hand side of the the six lugs it's the middle one that's that one but in our case we're putting it into the hole again so that's this way on the far left hand side Just like so. 
And finally, the South Star and the ground get twisted together. And we'll ground them together on the side of the pot casing. Just like that. So the South Star and the, and the bare wire go to ground. If you're using Seymour Duncan, that's the green. And the ground, so we'll just twist them together. Solder to the side of the pot casing, which is the ground. And let it cool. Okay, so that is, it really is as simple as that. I mean, obviously this is a very simple setup. It's just pick up into volume control to the jack socket. Um, nice, simple rig. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll just hook that up to the amp and we'll test it out. Okay, so just to uh, demonstrate what I was explaining at the beginning of the video in terms of the considerable loss of output when you activate the parallel mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a multimeter just to check the resistance of the pickup. Um, the typical multimeter set to 20k here, as you can see uh, at the bottom right of the screen. So that's the setting you choose when if you're just measuring a standard uh, pickups resistance. Um, we've got the two leads here. I'm going to put one lead to the ground, which in our case is the pot casing, and the other lead to the input of the volume control, which is where we've connected our pickup. And you'll see the humbucker measures in at 7.85K. That's series wiring. If we then activate the push-pull, and retake the measurement, there'll be considerably less output. So same again, one end to ground, one end to the, the terminal. And you'll see that's coming in at two, it's 1.98, so you know, pretty much four times as less output, which is quite a big difference actually. So that's why it does come across as very, uh, quite weak sounding, quite quiet. Um, it is a very, very unique sound. Um, it's obviously due to personal taste, but not to be mistaken or confused with coil splitting. So coil splitting in that same situation, if you're measuring it again, would probably come in about half the value of the full, uh, the full reading. So there you go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, we are actually going to have uh, a tutorial coming very soon on how to do a Les Paul uh, series parallel wiring. Um, where I will plug in and play just to give you an example of how it sounds. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to, to ask or any requests. Um, we are also going to start doing, um, a lot of people do comment every, on every video and it's, it's in incredibly appreciated. But there are quite a few questions that get asked. Um, so what I'm going to start doing, uh, simply due to time constraints, um, I, I personally can't respond to every question that's on there so apologies if you have asked a question and are still waiting what i am going to start to do is every now and then i'll do a video and i'll pick out the a bit like a q a but it won't be live so i'll pick out a host of questions that have been asked over the, the previous four weeks or so and I'll, I'll answer them all uh to the best of my knowledge in a single video so there you go guys um if you're new to this channel please subscribe um i hope you enjoy what you're watching uh, and we'll see you next time.